Cuban revolutionary troops such as these have invaded Castro's leftist island fortress, reportedly rallied by a mysterious coded radio message. Alert, alert, look well at the rainbow. The fish will be running very soon. From the sea and by parachute, the rebels have struck along the coast within 90 miles of Havana. Initial accounts of the fighting sketchy, but strafing and bombing of communications and military targets reported with heavy casualties. Fidel's grip is threatened as word of some defections comes out, but the fiery bearded Castro is hardly short on words as he attacks what he calls United States imperialism and calls on sister Latin American republics to aid Cuba. Impounded in Miami, one of the three B-26s which bombed Cuban bases before the invasion. They're of a type purchased by Cuba from the U.S. during Batista's regime. The Cuban bomber pilot, concealing his identity, says he had planned his defection flight for three months. Meanwhile in Havana, acting Foreign Minister Olivares shows foreign envoys and newsmen scorched fragments of what may have been rockets fired during the B-26 raids. As might be expected, he points an accusing finger at the U.S. The same line is followed at a dramatic meeting of the United Nations General Assembly's political committee by Cuban Foreign Minister Raul Roa, charging his nation has been invaded by what he terms mercenaries from Guatemala and Florida. Quickly, forcefully, the charges are denied by Chief U.S. Delegate Adley E. Stevenson. These charges are totally false, and I deny them categorically. The United States has committed no aggression against Cuba and no offensive has been launched from Florida or from any other part of the United States. 